problem is that it attracts mice, and mice attract things that eat mice. So we don't throw food out the far windows at all anymore because that's why these guys are attracted to the roads. Close enough? Too close. <laughs> Hang on a minute while we back up. This guy's got a leg bigger than my car. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a real people why. I don't even know where they are. I don't even care that you did it. So we can put a lot of animals back with their parents that way. So Bob is special because he's got little eyes and very large facialness. None of those little things that stick up on the head. They also have absolutely silent flight. And I mean absolutely. You, the mist bird comes by and flaps. You just you can't hear anything. Their feathers are so soft that they literally have to be quiet. They have to be quiet for two reasons. One of them, I'm sure you thought of, so the mouse doesn't hear them. The other thing is, if you're trying to work silently, you, you make noise, you can't hear for yourself what you're, what you're trying to hear. So he has to stay out of his own sound. So that's another really neat thing about it. Okay, you also may revert back to the wild. So imprinting is not something that happens with all kinds of animals, but it certainly happens with birds. Because when they hatch out of the egg, they see their mom, they imprint on that, that's what the way that their brain has been set up to do. And it doesn't always happen the same way with mouths. So, this guy is very imprinted. He, he, he would not know what to do if he saw another turkey ball. When he was growing up, what face he saw was a human face. So when he looks in his inner mirror, he sees himself the way that he sees us. We're the same thing as he is. He doesn't know that, I can't say that he sees us as vultures or if he sees himself as a person, but in either case, he does not see the difference between us and them, and that is not a good thing. You do not want one of these landing on your head. Um, we have had one that we, we tried to release once when we were young and stupid, and it followed our volunteers around, and he was biting at it, trying to get food, and let me tell you, if you saw Bill Streeter's program earlier today in Five Space, a vulture bit him earlier this week, and let me tell you, they have, they have again, very weak feet. They don't kill anything with their feet. They don't kill anything, period. But their beak is a nice and short, and it is a very sharp nice and short. And so you can really be seriously injured by these. Luckily, um, they brought the bird to us just as he was getting to the point of being very sick from being fed nothing but meat. Yeah. Uh, because they need to have one meat in the house. He was very sick. And so even now, his wing, wing strength isn't perfect because of his lack of calcium. And he was